Welcome to Shop Talk. We're going to look at one of those very rare chainsaws, and that's the Sax 166. I'll give you a little history on these saws. Back in the early 80s, Claire Johnson from Pioneer Northwest contacted me and was going to come out. Uh, he was a Sax Dolmar distributor and wanted to come out with a big chainsaw and wanted to know if we wanted to participate in uh, demonstrating it. And of course, we did. And uh, this is one of the early prototypes here. You can always spot them real easily, no chain brake, no decompression valve, spot fork, but it's not drilled. These are one of the very first, very rare ones. These were seven, a little over seven cubes, 7.2 cubic inch, 118 cc's. And what they were used for in the Pacific Northwest was the long bars. Guys would put 60 inch bars on them and cut the old growth dug fir. And we'll just take a look at some of the features it had. One unique feature it had, it had a left side and right side oiler button. You could change it from left to right. If you're wanting to use your right on the right side of your thumb, you could pop it there or you could change it out, put it on this side, pop it on this side. It had that very large carburetor. That was the uh, Tillotson HS carburetor, very large. And the first models had this stock air filter. The newer ones, they modified this, and they, you've seen a lot of them with the cone air cleaner. But uh, this is one of the early ones. Kill switch, chokes on the right, and had a very large muffler. And these are just the standard falling spikes, they were not the large ones. And a very large clutch for this high torque motor. Just a very large saw, very well built, and had a short life. Uh, the timber industry uh, took a dive uh, in the mid 80s, and uh, Sax Dolmar kind of faded away. And unlike the 090, which was made for years, these were just made for a very short time. So if you ever get one of these, this is uh, one to hang on to. They're very rare. 